Hey friends, this is Ayan here and one second a warm welcome back to your own YouTube channel, The Delta Neutral. So in this video today we are going to talk about what kind of a psychology does retail trader have before placing an iron condor and after placing an iron condor and while he or she is managing the iron condor. Okay, so this is going to be a very short video where I am also going to share my own experience or what kind of experience did I have, what kind of feeling did I have after taking iron condor trades when I was a beginner and uh, right now with what psychology do I place these trades or with what psychology do I maintain this kind of trades. Friends I know that uh, uh, today uh, the last uh, two sessions okay I mean today is the Tuesday and uh, I mean the first uh, ever the first Monday, the first Monday trade of this year 2022 and last one uh, of the 6th January expiry was it was on 31st December of 2021. The couple of sessions was entirely bullish and the market is showing steady breakouts on the upside levels like the 17,300, 17,400 and today even the market has broken up the 17,600 levels and right now what I can see is there are many traders who had placed iron condor who are, I mean thinking of a range bound uh, market within the 6th January expiry and those people right now they are now suffering from palpitation they are now suffering from fear then their iron condor positions are already in loss because the call options which they may have shorted the 17,500 or 17,600 calls those have entirely priced up now they are entirely inflated and right now people who have sold those options as their call legs in their iron condor or iron fly positions those people are entirely scared okay and some people are even booking their losses and getting out of the market so there is a proverb in fno market in future and options market that if you're going to hit the stop loss of the option seller then being an option buyer you are definitely going to be the most profitable option trader okay so whenever we buy options, whenever we take trades in which options buying is involved, then point of time, it is always told by experienced traders that you need to take such a trade which will hit the trailing stop losses of the option sellers, which will make the option sellers scared. At that point of time only, you can see a momentum and you can gain that momentum by buying options. Okay. So what kind of a palpitation is being suffered by retail traders right now. In fact, at some point of time, I too used to believe that yeah, everything I have tested, I have experimented everything in the market, I have tried everything in the market and nothing is going to give me profit. And right now, it's the time for being neutral. And uh, you can see the name of my channel. So if you're new to my channel, the, this is my channel, the Delta Neutral. So I do keep regularly updating videos and I also try to share as much knowledge that I have gained from the market from real life experience and all that and I especially try to emphasize on topics which are really going to be helpful for real traders. So if you are a real trader of if you do want to encourage my endeavor to stand beside real traders, please don't be, uh, forget to hit the like button of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that I may get a chance to reach you as soon as I upload a new video. Okay. And so this is my telegram channel. I do regularly keep on updating my trades, which I take in real, the adjustments that I do to my trades, my view on the markets, everything in this telegram channel and the link of this channel is given in the description below. Okay. So let's uh, continue with the discussion we were having. So the psychology before and after placing iron condor. Okay. So it, it, there, there is a stereotypical idea that you need to place an iron condor when your view on the market is range bound and you need to take some momentum trades or take some directional trades when the market is showing some trending moves. Okay. But the thing is like who comes first, the hen or the egg? Okay. Who comes first? The, the, the question is like this. Okay. So it's kind of an oxymoron. Okay. So what basically happens is yeah, we, we, whatever you know, okay, whatever you know, it's correct, okay. We should place an iron condor when we do have a range bound view on the market. And we should place a momentum trade or a predicted trade or a directional trade when 
we feel that the market is going to be trending from this point but what especially happens for real traders is when they see that the market is becoming range bound at that point of time they feel that the yeah the market is going to be range bound and we should place an eye on condor at that time right now but the thing is the market is already range bound by that time and as the market is range bound those real traders are watching the market they are seeing that the market is becoming range bound and that is making them feel that yeah that market is going to be range bound so they are thinking they are having a viewpoint on the market which has already happened the market is already range bound so it's time for the market to break the range on either sides and to show a trending move and at that point of time they are feeling that oh why well, the market is showing some ranging moves the market is going to be the going to be within the range and we should place an iron condor okay or sometimes what happens is uh, i mean the i mean this 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 is the first mistake they do okay and what happens is when the market is showing some trending moves it is jumping for 100 points 200 points 300 points or it is falling down for 400 points 500 points 600 points i am not talking about the bearish side i am emphasizing more on the bullish side okay so whenever the market is showing trending moves real traders start feeling that yeah it's time for the market to become on the trend okay it's time for the market to break out every range is it time for the market to fly or to go down like hell and at that point of time they have a trending view on the market but again by that point of time the trending move had already happened so this is the mistake what real traders do we should place an iron condor when the market has already shown a trending move because a range bound movement or a consolidation it always comes after a trending move and a trending move always comes after a range bound move so what are we doing here what is the mistake do we do here do real traders like us do here okay we are lagging behind the market so we are making a view point on the basis of what had happened but that is not the way we should place our on counters okay so this is the first mistake the first psychological mistake that happens for most of the real traders in fact it had happened for me more than 100 times i have made losses i have faced losses and those losses taught me that whenever i am seeing that the market is becoming range bound i should be aware that the market is already making a range and once it will break out either side of the range it will show a trending move and at the time when the market is showing trending moves i should wait for that time when the momentum is gradually coming down at that point of time i need to think that yeah the market has already shown the trending move now it's time for the market to become range bound so this is the way this is the psychology we need to keep before placing an iron condor as simple as that it's not a hard task it's just a discipline it's just a mindset okay it's just a psychology okay so if you believe me if you watch this entire video i believe that i can at least help you with some good idea i can at least help with with some good wish and with something that is going to be really helpful for your entire trading career going forward okay believe me and please do watch this video till it ends okay so we have covered what kind of a psychology does a real trader like us have before placing the iron condor now while it is placed okay while it is in position while you have made the position and you were just watching whether you were having profit or loss you were is looking at your smartphone no it's a 300 rupees loss it's a 400 rupees loss okay i mean profits of 500 rupees and all this okay so in the meantime when you have already placed the iron counter and when you are in the position okay at that time what happens okay three things can happen okay the first thing it will go into profits because sometimes the market may go in your favor the market may be tightly range bound and uh, there may be a drop in the volatility in the market there may be a drop in the option prices and that things can make you feel that yeah i am a great trader and being delta neutral i am right now on the correct track of my trading career so no more directional trades all delta neutral trades and i'll always place an iron condor whatever happens and i'll i am confident enough because i am placing iron condor and it is becoming in profits so it makes you over confident not for all but for some people in fact for me sometimes when i was a beginner it had made me over confident i used to sleep after placing an iron condor okay nothing is going to happen and if something happens i let just man okay so with this kind of a mindset we most of us do keep our positions open okay so this is the first point 
the second kind of psychology that we do have is the iron condor goes into a little loss just after placing it okay it goes into a little loss this can be due to the increase in volatility for that day the increase in iv or things like uh, i mean one of your legs showing some abrupt movement the market is either the i mean the market is not that much bullish it's not that trending but still it is showing some spikes in on either sides either on the bullish side or either on the bearish side and this is making one of your legs of your iron condor loss making and in most of the cases that makes us feel that uh, well we could have taken some more time okay i wish i could have taken some more time before placing the iron condor some more uh, chunk of analysis i could have done before the iron condor because it's in loss man so i need to monitor it and at that point of time what we generally do is we stick our eyes on the phone we stick our eyes on the monitor we stick on the eyes on our trading platform we start monitoring it like hell okay we start vigorously monitoring it that is also not a correct thing that is not a correct process if you are a delta neutral trader because you are taking a direction neutral trade because you want to keep yourself happy you want to keep yourself free this strategies are income strategies for working professionals okay these are not for professional traders always yeah professional traders do take delta neutral trades in fact i am also more preferable towards taking directionless trades but it's not done if you monitor it too much then what is the liability of your trade then what is the strength in your positions in your analysis okay you need to be strong in your analysis so it's not likely you should not you should not monitor it that much vigorously because monitoring it too much can make you feel well there is a need of adjustment i'm going into losses and what we especially do is the third case okay we manage it we try to adjust it we make changes in our trade too quick okay let's say we have placed an iron condor with the uh, right now the market is at 17600 we have placed the one with uh, within the range of 17800 and 17400 on the downside okay let's say the next day it has shown a strike up to 17750 okay we well, 150 points or 170 points strike on the above or a, uh, i mean a spike on the below range okay so it will scare you that it is going to break the range that you have predicted for the iron condor it is going to scare you sometimes and in fact you are placing the iron condor because you have already analyzed that that level can be reached there is a chance to reach that level but in case if it reaches that will act as a good resistance or a good support but when we are monitoring too much we forget these things and what we especially do is <coughs> just for a little spiky movement of 100 or 200 points we get scared and we think oh well man so there is a need to adjust i was monitoring it continuously for the entire 6 hours of this session and it is breaking up my range so right now i should adjust it and we make adjustments too quick and the too much of adjustments and that too in a quick span of time makes it a little bit dicey a little bit messy okay so i mean things gets complicated and what happens is at some point of time you feel bored and you come out from the market with loss and even if you were in profits the profits becomes negligible as taking too much trades involves consumption of too much of brokerage charges and too much of other taxes like stt gst and all that okay so you don't get the real profit in hands your realized gain is zero or either it is negative so this kind of things happen so this is the psychology of most of the retail traders while the iron condor is in position while it is open okay and the third mistake okay one more mistake i'm going to talk about in this video some people to eat up the entire time value of the iron condor they place it till the expiry day never take such risks because european options the options which we termed cepe call european put to european those options have a chance of getting exercised on the expiry day what i mean is if you are selling a call to somebody somebody who has bought the call he or she has the right to exercise the call option okay he or she has the right to buy those things at those 
price at the strike price of the option that you have written to him or her that you have sold to him or her at that point of time you need to sell those options okay but most of the real traders they don't have that much stocks in their portfolio okay i mean traders like us we don't have any stock in our portfolio we only go for fno okay so never take such risks always close your option selling positions before the expiry day one day prior to the expiry day but don't keep it till the expiry day because you are placing an iron condor and either of your legs can be valuable either of the options that you have sold it can be valuable i know it is hedged and it is being done neutral by the other leg but it can be valuable for the one who have bought the option and want to exercise so he or she can exercise the option here she can make the actual use of the option okay in that case it will be not be able to provide him or her the stocks okay it will not be able to do the counter part okay because you already know what kind of an account to do real trader state with it's generally a small account okay so big players are over there in the market to eat you entirely up so this are the kind of psychological mistakes that we do before while and after trading an iron condor okay so these things we need to keep in mind okay i try to keep this video quite simple i try just to make a short discussion just to make a foundation that what kind of a psychology do we need and what kind of a psychology do we have in a mass basis okay so that's all for today my friends hope this video can help you to some extent and so if you want to support my endeavor to stand beside to help the real traders like us please 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 don't forget to hit the like button to hit the subscribe button and to hit the bell icon as well and please don't forget to get in touch in my telegram channel once again i repeat the link of the channel is given in the description given below and if you want to see uh, get updates on more videos in detail on option bricks like alpha theta delta gamma and all that then uh, you please uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon because soon i am going to upload a little video on each of those option clicks okay where i am also going to share adjustments where i am also going to share what kind of psychological view do we need to have while tuning them and all that and uh, if you stay tuned i hope i'll to get a chance to reach you on your notification tab so thanks for watching that's all for today thank you